Hey everyone, I'm going to show you a different kind of 5-1 setup. There's a couple ways to set up 5-1, but it depends on the circumstances. And you're going to see a unique one today. So here's my DAW. It's Digital Performer. I've got this bass clarinet MIDI track, and it's pointing out to Vienna Ensemble Pro. Let's take a look at that. All right, here's the track in question right here. And show you a couple of unique things about this. So the Sikron player can output and surround. And what does that mean? So here are the mixer channels. Notice we have main, main C, which is main center. And I'll explain that in a minute. We have surround. We have high, high surround, mid, and close. And you can get an idea about these mics by looking at the panning. So let's look at main and main C. So here's main C. Notice it's pointed directly into the center. And here is main. Okay, now these two represent a decatree. A decatree has a mic in the center, that's mono, and then two wide mics. All right, they can be about five meters apart, three to five meters apart or so. And they're usually hung above the conductor. About 10 milliseconds away from the first violins or the, the front woodwinds. Okay, so these two channels are decatry. Let's go all the way over here to close and mid. So close is a spot mic on the instrument itself. And if we take a look at the panning, notice it's aimed at where the bass clarinet would be. Okay, it's rather narrow, and that's because, again, it's a spot mic on the instrument. Then we have a mid mic, which is basically a stereo section mic. So if we look at it, it's a little bit wider, but it's pointing right at this section. Okay, then let's take a look at the surround. This is very wide, obviously, because it's going to the surround channels. All right, now we have high and high surround. Okay, so these, are, these three surround mics are all stereo pairs. They're all stereo mics or stereo channels. So the high mics or are like the ceiling mics in Atmos, something like that. Okay, so that's that. And then here's high surround. So it's the same thing, but in surround. Okay, so ceiling mics in surround, basically. Okay, so... I'm going to hit play in a second, but what you're going to see is that all these output in stereo, basically. Or mono, because the stereo field is collapsed here in the Decatree's mono mic. These are surround channels, and you'll see right and left, no center. You'll see LFE, and then left surround, right surround. Okay, when that signal returns, comes back to the returns, and this is a bass clarinet, so it's coming into the clarinet channel, and this is a 5-1 channel, and this is being sent to these winds. So this is section. So these are section channels. All right, and then there is a send prefader to the winds reverb channel, which is in surround. And I'm using Exponential Audio's Symphony. There's a lot of great surround reverbs. There's about five that I use. I particularly like Exponential Audio. I like Liquid Sonics. Digital Performer's Proverb is pretty good too. I also use VSL's Hybrid Reverb. I like that one quite a bit. And there's some others. Okay. Then, on the Master Fader, I put 
a 5.1 limiter, and the LFE manager. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit play and just show you real quick the routing path from the MIDI input all the way through Vienna Ensemble Pro back into Digital Performers Mixer. So here we go. Let's take a look at it. So what I'm going to do real quickly is I'm going to bounce this. Okay, so I'm going to grab the winds section, the winds reverb, the master reverb, and the master bus. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and bounce these. So let's take a look. And as you can see, these are each a 5-1 mix. So let's check them out. What I'm going to do is play just this one coming back into the wind section. <laughs> with the reverb and you won't be hearing these in surround you'll just be hearing them in stereo that's basically what these surround channels sound like that's basically the same thing as the last one and the master bus is going to be a submix of all of them. There you go. That's a quick look at the way I'm configuring my modular template for Synchron instruments. All the woodwinds, all the brass, all the percussion, and all the strings. There will be stereo versions, and there will be 5.1 versions, and then at some point we'll get Atmos versions. The Synchron player is really great because VSL has recorded these with surround and Atmos in mind. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions or comments for this 5.1 routing or this 5.1 setup, Please let me know and I'll consider them, okay? All right, thank you very much.